you can't bring me a real solution. You just bring me a real solution. You call yourself United Nations. United Nations. Like incantations without conviction. We would like to ask you to spread the news about the huge difference and gap between the real world problem, between the terrible things which are happening in the world and between the discussion which goes inside of this building. The past 10 years was a failure as was the last 100 years of prohibition. We're grateful that in the UN declaration they mentioned that the, imp the impact, the disproportionate impact that drugs have on youth, yet we're disappointed that they uh, missed the fundamental point that drug prohibition and our drug laws also disproportionately and negatively impact youth. In the United States alone, if a young person is convicted of a drug offense, they are denied access to financial aid to attend college. They're denied public assistance benefits like welfare, food stamps, public housing. They're denied access to professional licenses, like uh, to become a teacher or a truck driver. Uh, and it and the, the criminal record, being saddled with a criminal record for drug possession, for something so, as simple as marijuana possession, will prevent them from getting a good job for the rest of their lives, which actually makes the drug problem far more or far worse by denying them access to, to, to economic advancement uh, that, it's, that, that is the number one way of keeping somebody from having a serious substance abuse problem. Young people are subjected in our public schools to random student drug testing that teaches them that they are guilty until proven innocent and that they should be judged by the content of their urine and not the content of their character. In other countries, the problems can be far worse. Young people are routinely sent to, quote, treatment centers, which are nothing more than prisons, warehoused with people sometimes twice and three times their age, turned into victims and subject to violence, rape, and sometimes worse. And this will not change until young people are brought into the process of developing global drug policy, and a, dr a drug policy that is based in public health, in reason and science and evidence, not in ideology and dogma. We're ready to negotiate, are you? Let's end the war. Fighting for peace on the war on drugs. We are saying here that the governments are talking about the need to renegotiate but they're not negotiating because all they believe in is dogma. This is a, po this is a policy uh, process driven by political ex expediency, not by public health. We are saying that it is time to put public health first, to recognise that the only science-based policy on drugs is harm reduction, needle exchange, opiate substitution therapies and involving drug users for change. We are here today ready to negotiate the peace. We're drug users um, campaigning for an end to the war on drugs. Yeah, well, it's good to know that you're here. We are. Some of Thank us you. are working hard for you in there. Thank you very much. Which delegation are you on? Australia. Australia, nice to meet you. We are today sick of our people being abused, being murdered, being tortured, being offered restricted health care, being thrown out of housing, having their children taken away from them. It is time for change. We call on the, on the United Nations to stand for its founding principles of human rights. We cannot have a drug control program that breaches the very fundamental principles on which the United Nations was formed. It is time to put human rights first and to end the war on drugs and to give human rights to my community. Let my people go, Let give us freedom, it's time for peace. We have from 5 to 7 millions of people using drugs. Most of them are injected drug users. 
However, we have a ban on using methadone and buprenorphine uh, therapy that showed it, its effectiveness and efficiency in the whole world. Harm reduction in our country runs very well. Legal exchange program, uh, methadone treatment and everything. But unfortunately, our country delegations say no to vote for uh, harm reduction uh, term in the CND meeting. They said it was a year of reflection, the, the year from March last year until now. But there has been no reflection, there has been no independent evaluation. They simply evaluate themselves and they say things are going well. But there was an independent evaluation from the European Commission and uh, their verdict is very negative that things have gotten worse and that the prohibition makes things worse. It does more harm than good. He cannot say, uh, well, uh, you're right, uh, uh, cannabis can be bought by every adult in Holland and the levels of use are about average in Europe. If, if they admit that this is the case, they can stop the whole thing and go home and do something else. And that's what should be done, of course, to, to arrange uh, sensible regulations. And that would be a lot better than the way it is now.